And can I have everybody look to the right, please? We are in Las Vegas at CinemaCon launching the new Spideyverse. I think that this movie is so fun. There are spider people of all kinds, like you saw in the trailer. It's, you know, so unique in that way and representing all types of different cultures, all types of different people, genders, the like. And so it's really, really just an, an amazing experience to watch on, on, on screen. It's been made for the screen. I mean, it's got incredible original music by Metro Boomin. Daniel Pemberton's done another amazing score. Visually, we've created so many new things that have never been seen before in animation. We've created six completely unique worlds. It looks nothing like the first film. And if you don't see it on a big screen, you're almost kind of cheating yourself. I think it's just a good message that, that not only can, can anyone wear the mask, but it's how you wear the mask that, that really matters. You know, when you find that thing that makes you special as a human, you know, your special gift, you know, and then, and then you, you live in that, it, it then becomes like, what, what are you doing with it? What, what's, what's the, how do you walk in your purpose and, and make a difference? Mm -hmm. um, and I love that message for, for, you know, kids, adults, and humanity in general, so. They're gonna see themselves, they're gonna see the world. I mean, it's, I think if you, if you do a film that's about the multiverse and spider people all over the world, it should look a little bit like the world, shouldn't it? So I think no matter what corner of the world you are in, and you see this film, I think you should feel like you're seen. I guess the best, I always like to say that I want a member of the audience to walk out of a theater and feel like Spider-Man could be in their neighborhood. The first film, all these unique spider characters came into Miles Morales' dimension. This film, Miles goes to all these other dimensions. So whereas everyone was coming to him, in this one, Miles is going to everyone else. You know, it's got great stakes, it's got so many returning characters, so many new characters. A lot of, we've only announced a handful of the new ones. And we've got a lot of neat surprise cameos <laughs> that I think are going to really delight people. It is phenomenal. It immerses you in a world. It immerses you in multiverses. The, the cast is phenomenal. The music is amazing. You're going to want to be seated and watching this from, from a theater. There's no denying that uh, scale has a very unique way of sweeping you, sweeping you away. Uh, and I think with something like this, the level of I mean, the animation is so next level, the emotion is so next level, the music, everything. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better than the first one, I was so, so, so wrong. Uh, and I really, truly feel like there are very few experiences in life that compare to going to a movie, sitting down with your popcorn or your movie <coughs> snack of choice and just, like Issa said, immersing yourself into the, into the world. And I feel so lucky to be a part of something so big and so special and so diverse. Um, and I feel so fortunate to play a character that uh, I've, I've been able to have a few experiences with, with um, young women especially who have voiced that they see themselves in, in the character that I play. That is very, very special to me. It feels like I was bitten by the spider, you know? How many people <laughs> would love to play this character or, or to be Spider-Man, but I'm somehow you know, chosen to be here in this moment for this film. Um, I appreciate it. I'm thankful. Uh, but that's that spider just, and here we are, you know? <laughs>